Hi, this is Scott Trudeau, Solutions Consultant with Adobe Education. Kids really love to publish things to their iPads, to their tablet devices. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can start introducing kids to creating digital publications for their iPad. So this requires a couple things. One, I'm using InDesign CS6. Two, I have an Apple iPad. And three, I have my Apple iPad plugged into my Mac. And in this specific example, it is a Mac computer is required. I will show and share other tutorials with you in the future for Windows machines. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new publication. So if I choose File New Document from my InDesign screen, using Adobe InDesign CS6, you're going to see we have new digital publishing intents. And one of those intents is for the iPad. So this specific example is going to be very simple. We're going to do an iPad and we're going to choose landscape. Now, no reason to have primary text frame turned on or facing pages, so just uncheck those. When we click OK, it's going to create a single page size specifically for iPad. So I'm going to jump over to a publication that I've already created. And you can see from my pages panel, so I'm going to choose Windows, Pages, or just double click the little page icon that this specific application has three pages associated with it. I did include some elements on that master slide, and those elements are a picture and a logo. And the reason why I put it on the master slide is the master slide is a lot like having a template. Anything that you put on the master will appear across your entire application. So now I'm gonna double click the first page, and I'd like to add maybe an image to this page. So I'm gonna file place, and that's how you're gonna bring in your items into InDesign is file place in those items. So I'm going to choose to file place an image. In this case, we'll just do this fishy tails picture. Pop that right into place over on the left-hand side of our application. Looks good. And then I'm going to move down to the second page. And maybe on this page, I'd like to file place some other items. So I'm going to file place, um, we'll go with the students sitting over here in the sand. Just pop that right into place. And then we have some room for additional images if we wish. But again, we're going quick and simple. I'm going to scroll down to my third page. And by the way, I just file place this text as well. You can drag out a text box and just simply type in the text box. Uh, to save time, I just copied a single text box and placed it on each page. So here we're going to file place some uh, another image. And I think we'll go to my background images and find another beachy type of image. That will just pop right into place there. Very good. So now that we've included the images into our application, uh, perhaps the students were doing a research report on uh, Ocean View High School, and now they want to make this interactive and put it on their iPad. So to place it on your iPad, take your USB cable, plug it into the Mac computer, have the iPad open. So there is an app that is required in order to view your publication on your iPad. I'm gonna switch over to my iPad so that you can see it. So here's my iPad and in the center here you're gonna see this purple icon, pinkish purple icon that says Adobe Viewer. You can go download the Adobe Viewer for free. It's a free app and we have this available for in the Apple Store, in the Android Store, and in the Kindle Stores. This is gonna allow you to beta test your apps so you don't have to distribute them through the App Store. So you can beta test these when it's all ready to go then you're able to take a look at your applications. And you can see when you first open up the Adobe Viewer, it's gonna look very similar to what you're seeing right now. Um, yours will probably be empty, but these are different applications that I'm testing out. So what I'm gonna do is once this is turned on, I'm gonna to go to my Folio Overlay Tools, and this is found in the Digital Publishing Workspace. So usually this is set to Essentials, if you want to change this to digital publishing, that's going to give you your digital publishing tools. If you do not see the folio builder and the folio overlayer, well, I think it's time to run your updates. So click on help, choose run updates, and you're going to be presented with the Adobe digital publishing tools that you can download and install. And then next time you open up InDesign, you're, you'll see the folio overlay tool. So what I'm going to do is just come down to preview. And I'll click on preview. Now this is great because if the students don't have iPads or mobile devices or tablet devices, but you still like to teach them how to build 
interactive applications or publications, you can do that by simply previewing on the desktop. So I'm going to choose the preview on the desktop. And as part of the digital publishing tools, we get the Adobe Content Viewer. It's going to open up and allow me, it looks very much like an iPad size screen and it's going to allow me to preview my application. And then using your mouse, you can simply flip through the pages. So it's interactive. So I'm just flipping through the pages much like someone would touch the screen of their mobile device and flip through the pages. So now that I've seen it uh, in that method, I'm going to move on down to my folio overlay tools again. And I'm going to click on preview. And instead of previewing on my desktop, there's my iPad. And the reason why I see that as a choice is because my laptop is plugged in via USB to my Mac computer and I have clicked and launched the Adobe Content Viewer app. So that app must be launched. So now I'm going to click on Preview on Trudeau's iPad. It's my iPad. I'm going to switch back over to my iPad here and in just a minute InDesign is going to push over to my iPad. It's going to push over to my iPad my new application. And there you see it. I'm going to use my finger to flip to the next page. Now I'm going to click on it again and swipe over to the last page. So very interactive, very fun to do, easy to do. We just beta test a digital publishing application on our iPad. This is introducing kids to the hot new job skills of digital publishing.